Do you have an old laptop sitting in a corner like mine? Well, let's turn it into a home server for cheap or even free. Now, the battery on my laptop is already defective, so I will keep it plugged in 24-7. Other than a defective battery, the laptop itself is still in good condition and has decent specs. The laptop has an 8th gen Core i5 and an Nvidia 940MX. I've already upgraded the RAM from 4GB to 8GB and swapped out the 1TB hard drive for a 500GB SSD. However, in the near future, I intend to use a M.2 SSD for the boot drive and use the SSD and hard drive for storage only. Now, for the operating system, I've decided to go with Debian. You can choose Ubuntu, Fedora, anything you like. There's tons of videos out there teaching you how to install Linux on your machine, so I won't be covering that. After installing the operating system, this is where the fun starts. First, I install Docker. Installing Docker is quite easy, and it allows us to run services in containers instead of directly on the host machine. This makes it easier to spin up new containers, upgrade or downgrade any container versions, or even just modifying some of the environment paths and variables not to mention simplifying the cleanup process. Then I installed Cockpit. Cockpit is a dashboard that you can load up in your browser to monitor and track your server. You can check the RAM, memory, network usage, and it also has the function to spin up a terminal on the browser. How cool is that? There's a lot of services that you can self-host, but for this video and my personal use case, I'll only talk about Nextcloud. Nextcloud is a self-hosted cloud solution. Think about Google Drive or Dropbox. They charge you every month if you exceed their allocated storage space. Not to mention, I don't feel comfortable having my data sit on someone else's computer. This is where Nextcloud comes in. You can self-host it at home and allocate as much storage space as you want, or at least how much your drives allow. With some extra steps, you can also enable port forwarding or set up Cloudflare tunnels to access your cloud when you're outside of your home network. Nextcloud also has a lot of other features, which sadly I won't be talking about. So there you go, you just turned your old laptop into a simple home server. This video is just a simple walkthrough showing you that it can be done. So why not give it a shot? You'll learn more as you set up everything yourself. That's all for this video, see you guys in the next one, bye.